like we said, they are 2-0. and They do look good. Uh, but we are going to break it down right now. Will, do you have Do you have it, Will? Do you have it? Is Here we go. Finally, together. Uh, 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 wait. Where are you at? Oh, <laughs> there you go. Keys the victory. <laughs> Will, I'm going to let you go first. What are some of your keys to victory? <laughs> My first key is going to be spy on Jalen and make him throw it. All right. Maybe this, this is, uh, you know, we're supposed to have cam curl back. He's practicing. So whether it's curl or we, or we Derek forest that plays up, like we almost need to have a safety sitting there at the linebacker spot, watching him to keep him in the pocket and say, if you're going to beat us, you're going to beat us through the air. That's my first key. Mm -hmm. Let Um, you go. Yeah, my first is like I like I said before, control the clock. We need to make sure that Hurt is not getting all these opportunities to gash us because I guarantee that's something he's looking forward to doing, especially with all the success he's had in the first couple of weeks and knowing our rush defense. We need to control the clock on offense, keep him off the field, keep that offense off the field and kind of kind of move it where we've been able to control the clock. We've been able to, at the end of games, get the uh, the, mo- the majority of the first downs. We need to continue that. Control the clock. Keep kind of matriculating the ball down the field and and in, in, in positive positions, field position-wise. You know what I mean? We want to make sure we're getting past the 50 and not getting caught up in our 20 and 30 and punting from our, you know, inside the 20 or inside the 30 and giving them favorable field. You know, mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. control the clock is my number one. What you got next? Um, the run needs to set up. I mean, the pass needs to set up the run. All right. I want to see handoffs to Curtis Samuel and Terry McLaurin and stuff like that. Yep. If we try and line up and just run a traditional power offense with Antonio Gibson, it's not going to work right now. We have to get them off guard. I want to see on the very first play of the game, Gibson motion out to to the slot and be a receiver. I want to utilize him as a weapon out there as opposed to a running back like we did in week one um, a lot more because I think that's going to allow us to come back and and be a little bit more traditional, a little more balanced, but we have to start off with the pass and we have to be aggressive with them. Yeah, early and often. Absolutely. Yeah, my my number two, go go at this type of the defense, keep everything in front of you. We know the threats they have. We know that the speed they have. And Devontae, uh, Devontae Smith, you know you got A.J. Brown. Dallas Goddard, he's another one. Last week, the three people we talked about were uh, Amon Rossi Brown, Swift, and Han Hawkinson. Hawkinson didn't really do much. He had big um, catches. So, yeah, until so later in the catches. game. Yeah. Right, till so later in the game. And we kind of had shut him down early. But at the same time, he didn't really have to do much because Swift and St. Brown were dominating early. So, Um, but keep everything in front of you. Going back to that one play we talked about where Swift caught the touchdown, where he fell down. If we had guys in front of him and come up and make the play, you know, if it is know the down and distance, it is third and long. Okay, give them the short yards and shut them down. We held them. They were 0-2 on fourth down. I trust, all right, I bend but don't break. Let's get them the fourth down. Make them make that decision, Okay. And then we can make a play. Now, sometimes we get gashed, but that's one of the things. Keep everything in front of you, and you got to come up and make the play. Make the tackle. That's another thing. Make the tackle. Because yeah. there was a bunch of broken tackles in the last game where it was like, if you just bring him down, we can get off the field, guys. Like, what are we doing? So, mm-hmm. yeah, make the tackle. That I like it. Up. All right. My last key of the game is going to be get all the points that you can. Yeah, we got to hit the field goals. You know, we got to play the field position game. Um, If we get down in the red zone, we got to convert. We got, you know, recognize this. You know, I think Scott Carson is going to be pretty jacked up. He's trying to downplay this as much as he can. And maybe he'll be more jacked up for the game in Philly. I'm not sure. But, you know, I think we're going to we're going to have to score points to keep up with them. This game is going to need to be in the in the mid to high 20s. Um, you know, if we want to try and, and win, and that just means we have to, we can't miss field goals. Joey yeah. Sly, we can't miss extra points. Yeah. You gotta help us out to stay in this game. Come on now. 
to start with that one. It's always a key to victory. Um, yeah, my third and final one, uh, my granddaddy always used to say this to me. When you go to the dance, you dance with the one who brought you. Two games, four touchdowns. Jahan Dotson Love is that dude. Love it. We know Terry McLaurin, Darius Slay. They're going to be buddy-buddy. We know uh, Samuel, maybe Bradbury, buddy-buddy, or wherever Samuel goes. We'll see how that go, works out. Jahan Dotson, obviously there's a lot of tape on him. Obviously they're going to focus a little bit on him. He's the one. Him and Samuel definitely want them moving. Definitely want them moving around, and I want us to get the ball to Jahan early and often, however we can get it to him. Get that thing to him. He has proven not only can he catch, but he's a playmaker. He's a gamer. Let's get it to him. Let's get it to Samuel and, and open that stuff up. Because if you get it to Jahan, that opens the Samuel stuff. That opens Scary Terry. And now you can get Gibson out of the backfield to make catches. Mm-hmm. We have the weapons. Let's utilize them. Go yeah. with Jahan. Let's start right there where we because he's been performing. He's not afraid of the moment. And let hey, and everybody will eat off of that. So let's let's go to go to the guy, man. Hey, I'm ready to I dance. Love that. That's yeah. a great one. Yeah. <laughs> let's get it. Let's go. Let's go. And so, ladies and gentlemen, you know we have to also give our score predictions. Ladies and gentlemen, uh let me see. Did I I went, I know you went first last time, correct? I can't Last remember. Week. I don't know. I don't either. <laughs> I, I will go first this time. Um, this one is going to be a shootout, in my opinion. And I think we are going to come out ahead of it. I think we're winning 34-27 in a comeback victory that Mr. Carson Wentz, like, he really lets loose. And I mean and I mean his emotions. He's going to sit there and be like, Let's go. Takes helmet off and uh, that's right, Philly. Like the whole nine. This is all those years. He's gonna be sitting here saying, Nick Folds, you can get some too, <laughs> even though you're an Indian athlete, right? <laughs> he's gonna do it all. This is what he's been waiting for to get his shot back at the team that spurned him, if you will. I don't know, you know. So I I that's a hey, that's where I'm at. 34-27 wins with the comeback W. Uh, man, I love that. And if Trisha wasn't sleeping upstairs, I'd be I'd be pounding. Go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> but, but I'm trying to stay as quiet as I can right now because she's the the little one sleeping through the night a little bit more, so she's getting five to six hour stretches. Okay. So I'm trying yeah. to be quiet. But I, man, I love that. And and I think you're right. Like it's going to have to be a shootout to win the game. I'm going to say we don't get it done. Ooh. I'm going to say that we lose 26 to 19 Oof, that we just, yeah. we can't convert touchdowns, you yeah. know, and, and that we're, that we're not able to. So this, I mean, and the spread is eight and a half. And honestly, I could, I could see the spread happening. I, I feel like, I feel like we're either going to be in this game or like the Monday night game, it's going to be a blowout early yeah. and often and, and maybe feel it just starts cruising and then we come back. Yeah. So I think we'll know early whether, whether the game's going to be good or not. Oh yeah! Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. I, I I think it's going to be a s- similar to the Detroit one, where you're going to know when it's in, like you said, in a couple plays where it's like, oh, okay, here we go. That first time that maybe Hurts gets an opportunity to scramble, and then he might break one, and you're like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. here we go again, you know. So, but again, this is early. This is when a lot of these things need to get corrected. We don't have um, uh, Chase Young. We, you know, Wise is hurt. We have injuries. So this is the time to kind of, hey, get these guys back and healthy and let's make do with what we have right now. Yeah. So it's going to be it's going to be interesting. But let's see. We know how they feel about us, you know, the daggone birds. And we, you know, we can, yeah. they're the worst fans in football. Uh, uh, daggone Philly fans. I think I have met two people that are Philly fans that are that are that are legit. They're they decent. You know what I mean? And they even yeah. get into it every once in a while. But for the most part, all the rest of y'all, man. They're terrible. Nah, I can't handle y'all. Nope. Y'all some crazies. Especially <laughs> once y'all won the daggone Super Bowl. I was like, oh, God, I'm cutting all of y'all out of my life, man. Right. <laughs> hey, you're sitting here acting like it's the daggone Super Bowl World Series NBA Finals all wrapped up in one, man. Yeah. Get out of here. Yeah. Come at me with, meet me when you get three, all right? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you like that clip, Be sure to check out the other great content from the Let's Talk Football community. 
And as always, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when more great content like this becomes available.